what up YouTube? Welcome back to Dante's Rant Room, where we talk about controversial topics, much like uh, this one, in, of course, anime, manga, and gaming. And I am your host, Dante, and we are back with another video of the day. And once again, I appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again. Your support keeps me going. And I gotta say now, due to some of the explicit images in this video, I won't be, as in I will not <laughs> be showing you everything. Uh, but if you want to see the images that you might be missing, just check out my Twitter. Link to that will be in the description box down below. So make sure y'all check that out. So yes, um, article says... Steam bans another video game because the girl looks like a lowly. <laughs> now y'all know how controversial the topic of lowly and Shota is in the anime, manga, and gaming community. I mean, those topics can get extremely heated. Um, and typically people who like lowly content uh, uh, are called the P word, uh, pedo, by those who are opposed to lowly and shota content and this is not the first time i believe that steam has banned content due to spicy content or uh lowly characters so this should be interesting so make sure you guys follow me subscribe to the channel uh, make sure you hit the notification bell drop a like if you enjoyed the video it'll help a lot with the algorithm drop a comment down below to start a conversation looking forward to reading it and um yeah, let's keep this going. So the article says developer Incontinent Cell reported that its video game Factorial Omega by Dystopian Robot Girlfriend will not hit the Steam catalog because the content was labeled Child Pran. I'm sure you guys get what that means, right? Because the anime designs appear to be underage within the game, uh, within the video game history. The developer said and shared the message he received, which he wrote, following the review, we will not be able to release your game, Factorial Omega, by Dystopian Robot Girlfriend on Steam. Although we strive to distribute most titles submitted to us, we have discovered that this title contains themes, images, or descriptions that we cannot distribute. What do you guys think about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Looking forward to reading it. And please, guys... <laughs> Be respectful in the comment section. I know how y'all like to tussle about this topic. Be respectful. Even if you don't like Lolly or you do like it, be respectful, okay? Um, anyway, it says, regardless of developers' intentions with their products, we will distribute content that we believe depicts uh, spicy conduct involving a minor. While each proposed product is unique, if your product presents this representation, even in a subtle way, that could be defined as a gray area, it will be rejected by Steam. For example, setting your game in a high school but declaring that your characters are of legal age will fall into that category and would be prohibited. This app has been banned and cannot be reused. Retries to apply this game, even with modifications, will not be accepted. So yeah, uh, here it is right here, Factorial Omega uh, will not be hitting Steam. For what I know is the final answer, there's no way to appeal. Thanks, Nadine Steam. This is the, um, I guess the uh, letter, I suppose. Let's go to San Keku Complex. By the way, this is the character in question I'm just talking about right here. I can show you this image because um, <laughs> The lower part is completely cut off because that's the part that's quite sensitive. If you catch my drift, uh, panty shots and whatnot, I'm sure will piss off the YouTube overlords, right? Um, but yeah, this character right here is a character in question. I believe there are that's causing some trouble. Okay, um, but here is the letter right here. You can read it yourself. Hello, after review, will not be shipping your game. Uh, while we strive to ship most titles submitted to us, we found that this title features themes, imagery, or description that we won't distribute. Yeah, in regard to developers' intention with their product, we will not distribute content that appears in our judgment to depict spicy conduct involving a minor. So even if it's not a minor character, from what it seems like, um, which 
the, the devs are saying it's not, but because the character appears to be a minor, um, they are not going to uh, upload this said uh, game or whatever to Steam, right? While every product submitted is unique, if your product features representation in a subtle way that could define as a gray area that we discussed before, they will not be putting it on Steam. So that's the letter right there. Now they did call out a contradiction, right? Because apparently there is a game already on Steam that has a uh, character. <laughs> it's right here. I can't show you, but she. From what I've seen myself, it looks a lot worse compared to the character in question that is stopping this game from being placed on Steam. Um, but when I post it on Twitter, you guys can let me know your thoughts as well. But like I said, it's not the first time that Steam has blocked the game from being uploaded or whatever due to content like this. So. Yeah, this is just the news right now. If I get any more updates in regards to this, whether they change their mind or not, I will let you guys know. But from what it looks like, it seems to be that this will not be hitting Steam. Uh, I can't go any lower than this because, yeah, <laughs> I just can't. You can't read any comments. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Do you agree with Steam or do you disagree with Steam? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe for more content like this in nerdy geek culture, anime, manga, and gaming. Looking forward to reading your comments, okay? If you're not subscribed, make sure you do hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.